What's up, guys? So I wanted to talk about something and give a little bit of clarification to what we talked about before about Lonnie Frisbee. Now, I've made two videos prior, or well, three videos-ish prior about this subject, and I want to clarify some things that I've talked about before. Now, originally, I made a video talking about Jonathan Rumi as he was about to play Lonnie Frisbee in the upcoming film, Jesus Revolution. Now, that movie has come out, and there's been a lot of buzz about it, a lot of different things. Now, in that original video, I talked about Lonnie Frisbee being gay, or at least having some of those tendencies in his life and I don't think I was as clear as I could have been and I wasn't as informed as I could have been so tonight we're going to take a look at someone who is actually a friend of Lonnie and have him explain and read from Lonnie's autobiography about exactly what's going on in his life and how that impacted him did Lonnie have these homosexual relationships did he not was he living the gay lifestyle was he not where was he in all of that so to be clear this is John Rutke who is really good friends with Lonnie basically was roommates with him best friends with him he is reading from Lonnie's autobiography so as he's reading this is Lonnie talking from right before he's about to die like two years before he's about to die so since my cruel disease of being HIV positive with the incurable prospect of AIDS virus taking my life it has impacted every area of my life and especially my emotions in a very dramatic way just carrying the news by myself for years See, I didn't know anything about this. You know, he, sh he shared this really two years before he died. And by that time, he's heading into the AIDS section of that. As mentioned, the shocking news caused me to go deeper into God myself and actually search the depths of my soul. The process became a rotating good, bad, and ugly season over and over. And he goes on, he says, the Holy Spirit really, really is our comforter. And so many times he very lovingly and supernaturally touched me with the peace and the assurance that Jesus is walking this out with me. And so he goes down. I'll read another paragraph down below here. It says, this ongoing process has prompted me to somewhat address the subject of a gay lifestyle. And this is really what I want to talk about. So the reason why John wants to talk about this and the reason why I wanted to talk about it as well is because oftentimes, um, you know, the LGBTQ community, they will often use... Uh, Lonnie as an example of a gay Christian, right? And so I wanted to hear more of Lonnie's thoughts about this and understanding of where this kind of came from and, and you know, is this correct? Can they do this? Can they use him as this example? Or is there something else to this? So let's jump in. Okay, I have to show you guys this. Out of everybody that watches our channel, only about 34% of you guys are actually subscribed to our channel. Subscriptions really mean a lot for us in order for people to see us as a bigger channel and to want to support us by sponsorships or other things on our channel. It would really, really help me out if you could subscribe. Just click that button below. It's completely free to you and it would really help us out. All right, let's get back to the video. Because this is kind of the controversy here. You know, homosexuality is a huge subject in itself, which I briefly address in the last segment of my life story. I said it was a counterfeit. But I would like to go into a subject a little more at this time. I do not consider myself to be an expert in any way, but I have my personal experiences and have looked into the subject from several angles. For me, of course, the most important angle is what does God say about homosexuality? So again, he's saying, Lonnie is saying in his autobiography that homosexuality is a counterfeit. So now he's going to go into the details of how he thinks about the situation. Well, God is not negligent about condemning all categories of sin and harmful choices that we make. And there is a long list that he warns us about, including the so-called gay lifestyle. In case you might not have read the Great Commission, which I, I stated, I never lived the gay lifestyle. So he makes a firm, a firm statement there. I never lived this lifestyle. I never lived this lifestyle. However, there is more to it. So let's listen. Okay, this is Lonnie's words. I would like to add that I've never even considered myself a homosexual at all. Even though I had been molested for years as a child, had sexually experimented as part of the rebellious free love generation during the teenage years in the 60s. There is also my disappointing backsliding days in the mid 80s. So he's saying, I, I, never, I never lived this lifestyle, right? I never lived this lifestyle. However, however, I did participate in these things. And then he gives us three categories. He says, one, when he was abused as a child. 
So obviously this isn't like something that he chose, right? Obviously that's horrible. And he goes deeper into that in the book if you do want to read it or if you want to check out more of that. Um, when he was abused as a child, when he chose to in the 60s, so the free love generation before he was saved and all of that, and then actually in the 80s as well, he goes back to that. And so while he's not living the lifestyle, he does fall into the sin again and again um, throughout his life. He kind of goes back to it. So there is something that's there. There's a balance that's there for him, right? And I have described that I have described in this book. Listen, one of the things that I loved about Monty and really what I love about the hippies is we're very authentic, man very truthful, very authentic, very real about things. And that, that's what I liked about Lonnie. Lonnie was, everything was on his sleeve, man. Back during the 1967 Summer of Love in Haight-Ashbury, when I was a student at the Academy of Art and University, I listened to all the voices and opinions. After all, it was the age of Aquarius. There was major movements that were birthed during the radical time, the hippie movement, the feminist movement, the Black Panthers, the gay movement, and the Jesus people movement. Notice, movements. And we're about ready to hit another movement. So I'm excited about that. And he says this, he says, um, I listened to all the voices with an open mind, but on a visit back to to, to, Heeks, to Ta Taquics Canyon in Southern California, I, I, with a call to serve him, he says this, I'm sorry, it was the voice of God and a supernatural visitation with a call to serve him. And that's in that canyon. I said yes to that voice and that call. And it was the very best decision I ever made. Yeah. So if you don't know, when Lonnie actually said yes to Christ, he was like high on LSD. Like this crazy, you know, experience for him. Um, and he, God like ripped him out of that and like made him sober and like, you know, came, uh, you know, into this whole new uh, life for Lonnie. Um, and so that's what he's talking about here. And he goes on, he says, but I must say that I have respect for many of my friends who have chosen the gay lifestyle. They're among some of the most gifted, talented, and loving individuals in the world. Being an artist and being part of the entertainment world, when, when I was a teenage cash member of Shebang, weekly TV show, I met so many creative, interesting, and famous people. Many were gay. So what he's saying there is Lonnie was actually an artist. He was actually a dancer on TV. So if you've ever seen, you know, uh, if, if you were around during the time when they would have these dancing shows, you know, every night or every weekday, um, you know, they would, uh, or every weekend or whatever, they would have certain people come in and they would dance during these shows to entertain people and to have these different dancers that rotated through. Lonnie did this. He was an artist and he was a dancer. He did all these things. So he was with very creative people all the time. And so he would encounter, you know, a lot of these um, people who were living this lifestyle throughout that time. And he says that he loved them and he cared for them. Um, however, he, he continues on. Most were still in the closet at the time. I can honestly say that I love my gay friends but there is a huge difference between love and approval. So he goes on and he sh shares this. And th this is an interesting part of this. He says, in fact, I love all of my friends, Christian, non-Christian, black, white, gay, straight, young, old. But I also know from experience that people's choices can lead them down a totally destructive path. God is clear in the Bible that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That one verse is among many that clearly declares the love and severity of God. He warns us that all sins, little or big, which can range from lying and gossiping to adultery and murder, along with anything in between, can have immediate to eternal consequences. I am totally forgiven by my Lord, but I'm also paying the consequences of my sin even right now. So this is, <clears throat> this is really... Uh, it hits home for me because you have to understand my father died pretty closely after Lonnie died, about a decade after Lonnie died. And when he died, he died of AIDS. He died of HIV and AIDS. And so he died of the same sickness that Lonnie had. And so for me, it's, it's a, it's a very close to home subject for me. And my dad struggled with the same things that Lonnie struggled with a lot of drug use and even delving into that type of lifestyle, like we've been talking about. So for me, it's something that um, is, 
it's hard for me to even think about it and to 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 connect that with right and so for Lonnie, he, this is two years before he's about to die. He's writing his autobiography. He's trying to get all these things off his chest and talk about all these things. And he talks about the gay lifestyle. He talks about everything that's kind of going through with this. And um, he, he says, one, I never lived that lifestyle. So I was never committed to doing that and, and being that. Two, I participated. Here's the ways in which I participated and how I participated, when I participated. And three, it's wrong. And it's not okay. And the wages of sin is death. And even now, with my HIV and my AIDS, I'm paying for the consequences of my sin that I put into my life as I backslid in the 80s and all of that stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty conclusive here, yeah. I think that, yes, he did delve into that. Yes, he struggled with that. But he would say that he didn't live that lifestyle. So to clarify, that's kind of where we're at with Lonnie. And I think, you know, there's some been some other people who have done some great interviews uh, with John as well, such as Ruslan KD. I think if you want to go check out Ruslan's channel um, and see more of the interview about Lonnie and see more of kind of what's going on there, uh, that would be a great resource for you. Or just go over to Jesus Movement 2.0, uh, which is uh, John's channel, I think, uh, where he kind of talks about these different things. And it's the channel that we were just watching uh, that video on. And so, um, yeah, anyway, a lot of stuff uh, kind of to wrap all of this up. But I wanted to clarify this just to make sure that we were all on the same page when it came to this uh, and to make sure that we all understood kind of what was going on here. And I hope this helps. If you enjoyed this part of our live stream, you can check out the entire live stream on our Patreon at patreon.com slash this knife life. This is the best way to help support us and to make sure that we can continue making videos just like this. If you want to support us at $5, $10, or $25, then that would be amazing. In fact, we had someone recently ask us if we could increase a tier to $50. So if you're really interested in supporting our ministry, that's the best way to do it over there. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.